Aloha everybody, it's Danielle with Love Gold Karma. Today I am going to be making a special soap. This soap is really a celebration of my mother's flower garden. Growing up on Kauai, she always had the most amazing flowers. Uh, I don't know how she did it. She truly has a green thumb. I am the exact opposite. But we had, we had everything in our yard. Hibiscus, plumerias, um, zinnias, gingers of all kinds, succulents. It was just, it was just glorious. So I'm going to be trying to do some um, flowers that are just sort of like an abstract design and just sort of a take on her garden. So I have my oils here and I do have my lye water mixed with some milk and Tessa silk. And I have all my colorants here off to the side. I have some pinks with uh, rose clay, I have some charcoal, I have some turmeric for my uh, orange color, just a lot of goodies going into here. I'm going to get this started by just whisking my oil and my lye together because I really want this batter to remain fluid while I work with it. I'm going to be trying some really intricate designs and I want to have the most time I can to play. So I'm just going to be pouring this straight down into my bucket today. I'm going to give it a little stir first. I'm just going to pour this straight down and just mix it together. There it goes. All right, I'm just gonna mix it together with a whisk. I'm trying to not use my stick blender, um, or only if I have to, because I just want this to remain really fluid. So I'm just gonna keep whisking this together until everything So I'm going to now split this off. It's all nice mixed together. I'm going to split this off into these colors. We've got pink and orange and purple and yellow and a couple types of green. I'm going to split this up and I'm going to add a little fragrance oil after I'm done blending this by hand. I'm just doing a little bit at a time first. So I want some time to play with this design. Also got some embeds and some flowers I've piped over here. It's a bunch of different ones that I may be putting on here. I'm sure I will, but who knows in what form or fashion. And I'm going to be working with my round molds today. So while I'm mixing this together, I wanted to tell you a little bit more about this soap. This is part of a soap collaboration. It's a spring collaboration and it's with a wonderful group of YouTube soapers and our theme this time is flower power. We have to have the color green, we have to have embeds or piping, we have to have a botanical, and we have to have at least one of the colors of pink, orange, yellow, purple, which I've got them all going on here. So there is a hashtag that I'm gonna put in the description box and if you click on that, you can go and check out all of their videos and I highly recommend you do so. They are just an amazingly talented group of soapers put together by the extremely wonderful Renee Cormalis, Soaps for Love. So you should definitely check her out as well. And a big thanks to her because without her, none of this could happen. All right, I've got my colors all mixed up. I've got my mold ready to go and now I'm going to start the pour. Um, I've done this technique before with uh, just really different soaps. I really like this round mold. I saw it from um, Atsuko Watanabe. She's fantastic. If you get a chance to check her out, she also has a YouTube channel, and I will put it in the links down below. She's the first one I saw do this sort of cool 
um, you know, swirly uh, round soap technique and I just love it. So I'm gonna give it a shot with this and let's see what happens. A little bit of white, try not to block over here. Oh, making a little bit of a spill there too. Whoops, okay, right off the bat. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of this green on this side. Let me turn it this way. Let me scooch some of this over. Make a little room for myself here. I'm gonna actually turn it this way so I can work on it. And I just kind of point the cup, get that green poured in there. A little bit more of the white. The white's really full, so we got some drips. I'm definitely gonna be turning this as I go. So let's do some more of the green. Of course, I'm trying to make as much of a mess as humanly possible, so apparently that's where I'm going. And I'm gonna put a little more of the white. That white is so full. I'm actually gonna put just a little bit of this green too. I don't know if that's gonna pull through. It's kind of thin. That should work okay. Just a little bit more of the green. Making a lovely mess here and a little bit more of the white. <laughs> I just, I love the mess I'm making. I love the mess I'm making. A little bit more of this other green and hopefully this will, oh, drippy. Hopefully this will morph back um, as it turns. It was a really pretty green and sometimes that just happens with fragrance oil. It just gets, you know, it just gets a little crazy with greens. I don't know why. Just a touch more of this and that should do it. So now I'm gonna try the design I'm gonna have to turn it just a little bit to be able to do it so I can see it. I'm just gonna go really slow here. Pull this out. I'm going for sort of like stems and grass. Pulling it this way. I apologize if my hands are blocking. I've gotta be able to see it. I will do a few of these so that everybody can see it. All right, just kind of bringing the green up. And then I'm gonna try to put a few little drops of color. I'll turn that that way so you can see it. I'm gonna put some drops of color and, and try to do my flowers. And I'm gonna be grabbing um, an actual like toothpick for that just to really line it up. So I was afraid I was gonna drip a little bit. So I actually grabbed some of my my ever so favorite <laughs> micro spoons. So I could try to be a little more precise with what I have in mind here. So I'm just putting just a little bit on here. Tell ya, gotta love a good micro spoon or mini spoons. I don't know what's with me and all the little like it'll itty bitty, itty bitty everything. All right, just kind of building this up. This is tedious a little bit. It's gonna take a second. Do this one, but you know, I get ideas in my head and, and that's, that is that, that's that. And I really, I really do love this technique. And I haven't tried it like this before with flowers. So, you know, first time for everything should be fun. Let's do one more down here, a slightly bigger one. I'm glad I did the little spoons because, oh boy, do I tend to make all kind of fun messes. Let's put some yellow. And again, this yellow is looking a little more orangey, but it should go back. I'm excited with that turmeric as well that went in there. It's a little dollop here. A little dollop on this one. I think that's about it. I'm gonna try to pull through and see All right, so I'm gonna start with those and just pull through and kind of see what happens. I'm gonna have to wipe this in between to try to keep it nice and clean. Grab a little paper towel action. All right, so I have a, a nice long toothpick and I'm just going to, let's see here. Oh, I'm gonna surprise me and you. So I'm gonna pull this way, I think. Wipe in between and this way. I'm trying not to 
make too much of a mess. I'm going to mess with the flowers, you know, a couple different ways. I like that. And then maybe for this one, I'm going to hold this way and kind of see what happens. Oh, that went really interesting. Abstract, it's abstract. Okay, I like this way better. I'm just gonna pull way through. But yes, my mother had the most, the most amazing garden. And I, I cannot rival it, though I am gonna put a picture of the beautiful hibiscus she planted that are here and these kind of remind me of hibiscus. And they're blooming right now and they are just absolutely glorious. And I give her all the credit because she planted them here. And uh, they are just, they're going, they're going off right now. Let me see a little drop of, I like that little drop of green, I think. Maybe, who knows, I'm gonna surprise myself. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, so before I move on to the next one, I am going to put some of this pink Jubilee glitter that um, A.D. Ramsey sent me, who is uh, the owner and chief creator of Davida Handcraft Soap. And this is Pink Jubilee Glitter by Micah Zamora, and it's fantastic. As you can see, she sent me a little bit, and I've, I've just, yeah, I've used it on everything. So I'm putting a little bit on these flowers because I can't, I can't not glitter it hurts my soul to not glitter so I'm just I am gonna be really mellow for me though look at how little is going on there so little oh okay that one got a whole bunch but you know you get the idea all right on to the next one so I'm gonna go ahead and pour one more and same kind of thing and then I will just probably pour the rest and and kind of fast forward it so you guys aren't too bored but same kind of thing I'm gonna make kind of I'm trying to make sort of grass this time and um, same thing, flowers, but I also want to try one with just kind of a big flower in the middle. So I think I'm gonna do that first and see what happens. So I wanna do sort of like a really big, gorgeous flower sitting in the middle. So I'm gonna actually put this over here in case I completely biff it, because <laughs> we know I can completely biff it. And I just thought a really pretty, like big flower kind of sitting there. I'm doing this other green this time. And I really do hope this comes back. This was this really nice deep green and I'm thinking it's gonna come back, but we will just have to be patient and wait and see. I really think it'll look really nice though against like this background of the flower, the bright colors.
there are the first two and I'm gonna go ahead and try one more with one of my embeds and just kind of see if I do like a stem and some leaves, what happens. Well, I went ahead and I put the embed and I think I like it. I'm gonna leave it right there. So I'm gonna keep going with this and I will definitely show you guys all of the finished results of the flowers. Please check out the other soapers doing this collab. They are absolutely 110% amazing soap artists. You will not be disappointed. There's gonna be a hashtag below to follow. And until next time, Glitter Junkies, stay sparkly. Aloha.